I, I would struggle to pay Derek in the 150 to 150 million range if I was Josh without spending a year with him. I would have no problem trying to build this team if Derek will play on the year, which I think we both kind of agree that you know he's less likely to do a hold out or a hold in. Like he's going to want to play for Josh. Though, I, if you're if we were his representation, like it's pretty clear, no quarterback of his stature plays on the last year of his deal. Now it's unique circumstances because this Gruden got fired in the middle of the year; it threw everything out of whack. But to me, it's just. I think you could just try to have a good free agency, have a good draft, and just roll Derek back on the one-year contract. But we talked about it with Kime and Cliff, and that's not college football. It's like coaches never play in the last year of the deal, and they didn't. They got extended. It never happens in college football. It never happens with quarterbacks who are good. You know, it just it happens with backup quarterbacks, but not starting quarterbacks of Derek's top 12 ilk. Well, because so the, the, the tag is not really something you want to do. Yeah. But but to me, if, if he's worthy of a tag, then to me, he's worthy of like doing a deal. Unless it's then it, to me, if they're tagging him, it's gotten kind of weird. Right. That would just be a weird situation. Yeah. But we're a year away from that. Now, the, the I saw the quarterback tags twenty nine million dollars, I think, this year. That's nine million dollars more than he's making. And next year, that quarterback tag with all these new contracts only going to go up. Right, it's the average of the top five. Like, what's the quarterback tag next year? Thirty six. So for him to go from twenty to thirty six, it's not the worst thing when he's already just made one hundred and forty million dollars. I think one thing's clear. Did you see on Instagram? I didn't see on Twitter. You're not blocked, are you, on Twitter by Derek? Uh, I don't think so. But he he uh, was uh, the CMAs, the Country Music Awards, were in Vegas, and he gave out not the album. He gave out the album of the year, and I, I do think he takes a lot of pride in just. The Raiders, the Vegas Raiders. He he announced like when he's wearing he, all black. He looked pretty good. He had a good looking look like Rolex on. That he was like, "Welcome to the home of us." Like like I, I think he takes a lot of pride. He wants to be there. I just yeah. think the contract thing is very very complicated for them. And I'm I, I think to me it's one of the most fascinating things in the league. Like, what are they gonna do? Are they just not gonna pay him? And then is he just gonna be cool with it? It's like, yeah, man, I'm just focused on football. We'll figure that out. Because in fairness, if you're him, you play well, Josh's not going to be able to upgrade, and they will pay you. If you prove that you can go to the playoffs. But think how hard it is to go to the playoffs. Like, he is the fourth best quarterback, and he's not bad. He's a top 13, 14 quarterback. Mahomes is a top two quarterback. With Brady gone, yeah, he's definitely top two. Uh, Russell's a top five or six. Herbert, my friends in the NFL, had him valued just in a vacuum as a top five quarterback last year. That's well, John, if 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 he and Russell were both available, the compensation you get for Herbert would far exceed what the Seahawks just got for Russell. So you have the worst quarterback in a division, and your quarterback's good. Yeah, I don't think it prevents them from going to the playoffs. No, it doesn't. Because Herbert, they they beat the Chargers last year when they had Herbert. I think they're okay. I I think it fully comes down to what you're paying, and I think Derek Carr will ultimately. Um, not being like now Rogers has since tweeted from the uh, Twitter account that he has where the emoji is just his bare foot that yes, he is coming back to green Bay, but the details of the contract that have been reported are not accurate. He hasn't signed it yet. The details that rap sheet said were four years, 500 million with 153 million guaranteed. You're saying Rogers said I'm in Rogers said, I am going to the at Packers, but don't believe the story that I have signed or that that those are the details of my contract. Uh, to me, if I'm a Packer fan, because it's like every time it's not done, it's like, okay, I'm I'm cool. Well, I saw in the chat, like someone said, like, Rogers tweeted. I was like, oh, God, what is this going to be? But it was just him basically like clarifying, but saying I'm back. Um, I don't think Derek's going to end up signing that contract. I think part of it is I think my I expect Derek Carr to take less money. And this is no inside information, but I think he values what you just said, being in Vegas. I don't think he's going to make them or try to make them make him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL, which is what every quarterback eventually tries to become. If they sign a new contract, it's weird. Us, everyone listening, $20 million. We all sign up for make $20 million. But if you're making $20 million, even if you would give them a team friendly deal, because now the numbers are going 45, $50 million. Right. Even if you would sign for like a four year, $35 million a year, you are leaving $15 million on like that is, that's just a substantial amount of money. Yeah. And he has had his leg shattered before. 
what was remember there was a Thursday night game that Mariota had to play because he got KO'd, he, he hurt his hand, or yeah, like he just it's a violent game, right? At any moment, like your knee could get snapped. So it is just if we're as representation, it's like there is massive amount of risks, right? Even though you've unlike like TJ Watt or whatever last year, part of the reason like you've never signed a big deal, or even Lamar, like you're the thirtieth pick, thirty second pick, you've never signed a big contract. Derek has. Like Derek has more money than he'll ever know what to do with right now. He's set for life. His family's set for life. This, he was rich when we knew him, and he, he was a freshman in college. But th- it's just ulti- it's still business. Like it's just pretty risky. He had a nice uh, Hummer H two, and the 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 bag that you put on the spare tire was the DC logo, like the DC skate brand logo. That was look logo. good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it looks sweet. Do you agree though? Like ultimately, like even if I'm I'm cool with like I will give you a discount to help you build a team. I know you guys will. Right. Or at least I believe that what you're telling me, because in the book, Belichick told Brady that and then ended up not doing it. So it's like I think you get very, very hesitant to trust people in the NFL because you've seen them go both ways. Even though it behooves the Raiders. You would say when Derek's been there, the Raiders have been very aggressive, right? In his tenure as Raiders quarterback. Yeah. And you made that point on Sunday show, and I it was a good point. And I think I, I think if I'm looking at it from the perspective of okay, well, if I'm Derek and I'm making a pros and cons list, why would I take less money to be here? It was a groin well, injury, a groin, a groin injury. Groin. Um, what, look, obviously I would prefer fifty million a year, but I've been here. I've been on this team. I haven't played in the playoffs. We've made the playoffs once. I wasn't available. I've had a multitude of different coaches. Played playoff wa- game. Played playoff game this year. Oh yeah, I don't remember really. I scrubbed that game apparently from my memory. It was a boy. Uh, it was a good ending. Um, that was a big deal. But I'm about to play quarterback for Josh McDaniels, who many people believe is one of the best offensive coaches in the league. I am not young anymore by NFL standards. I'm in my prime right now. If I'm going to make anything of my career from not a financial standpoint, but a legacy, what can I accomplish? People have said for years, I'm not whatever I'm not. There's no better place for me to be. Why? I got Darren Waller here. The Renfro. Rugs thing. Yeah, but I got Renfro. There is no better place for me to be. I'm where I want to be. There's no state income tax here in Nevada. I, I, I think that I think the one issue, like, you know, it's the Cincinnati game really isn't that memorable beside him kind of fucking up in the end. His memorable moment, you would say, of his career was that Charger game, Sunday Night Football. Ziegler and Josh had nothing to do with it. So, like, you don't get equity with them for that moment. Right, like if no. your coach was returning, you would get a lot of equity for that moment, being in the fight and having a good game and helping your team win that game, which is by far the biggest win of his career. I don't, there's not even a close second. That win, that moment in front of 30 million people. Josh was on the other side of the country getting ready for a playoff game. Right, the next yeah. week. Yeah. So it's like that to me is you have to have those moments. Like if you had had a couple, like if this was Josh's second year, you'd be like, "What are we doing? Just sign the guy. Let's rock and roll." But you don't get like that equity doesn't translate over when you get a new start. That's and that that speaks for all these teams, good or bad, to get new head coaches. Unless you're an all time great player, like LaFleur had to capitulate to Rodgers right when he showed up, right? There's just but there is a small percentage of players on that level. Like Josh is Josh has more leverage than Derek right now. Right. That can change fast, right? If if Derek's cool, like, hey man, I'll play it out and you're five and oh and Derek's thrown 13 touchdowns it looks awesome you're like yeah let's what are we doing let's just go all in on this guy we can win with this player but you have to develop equity to make them truly truly believe you know these numbers right well the owner too like josh hasn't been there but mark davis has right well he's been to all these games i guess two years ago he didn't show not to all of them this the, the afc west from a quarterbacking standpoint is just a ridiculous division like your defensive coordinator matters your well, defensive personnel matters. Well, it's got two Hall of Famers in their prime right now, right? Russell Mahomes. It's got, I would say, in our adult life, the fastest two-year start to a quarterback's career we've ever seen in Herbert. And Derek is just a you know, top 13, 14 quarterback in the league. I think you could argue that Herbert's better than Russell right now, right? Yes. I think that like your buddies in the league who say he's top five, like, I think that's probably part of what they're saying. He was better, better last year, Russell. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He was better. Now, is he is he better? Time will tell. But right now, I, his stock is higher than Russell's. Now, Russell's stock is down. 
Russell could bounce back. And the fact is that the Chargers have kind of now we're two years into Herbert's career, which is not, it's not, I'm not blaming Justin at all, but they have not maximized what they've gotten from the quarterback position. Right. And there's a franchise they typically don't. Remember how good he was in that play in that game against the Raiders though, Sunday night? It was not his fault they lost. He was awesome. No, no. I I let me be very clear. I'm separating him from full responsibility. He did not, like he did not call a run up the gut on uh fourth and one on their own eighteen. He no. actually uh verbally said it when he got it called into his headset. Uh there are there are just different types of divisions in the league, John. There's the AFC West from a quarterbacking standpoint, and then there's like the NFC South. <laughs> Or the NFC East. Yeah. You just think about the quarterbacks in some of these divisions. 